Thank you very much, David. I join in thanking the the uh, Mellon Foundation, Carnegie Foundation, for making this possible, and to the commissioners for taking this task seriously and putting the effort into it that they they did. Uh, we're, as, as uh, Lamar pointed out, a little different than most countries because uh, we're not based on a particular race or, or tribe, tribal identity. We're a country that's based on ideas. And uh, uh, nothing is more important than that we continue to maintain as a country our commitment to uh, exploring ideas, developing ideas, and that we do it with rigor. Uh, it's one thing to do creative thinking, but if you don't have much of a framework or su subject to think about, uh, it degenerates into pablum very, very quickly. And uh, even in our political debates here today, we're wrestling with subjects that are very important in our time, how to integrate uh, all the changes in technology uh, with our needs to preserve freedom as an institution, to keep the country safe and use technology to inform our military and others on what's, what's happening, but to do it in a way where, where we're not overwhelmed by the machine but maintain our values and the opportunities that our country was created to, to further. And these are challenges that are not totally dissimilar to those which the Founding Fathers wrestled with when they wanted to create a, a free country that could actually function as well. And they had to stri strike a b balance uh, and, and uh, did it fairly, fairly well. Uh, so in our time, I do think if you have some content with which to think about, uh, a basis in, based in history and experience of other cultures as they wrestled with uh, analogous uh, issues, it, it moves it from the personal to the idea realm and gives us an opportunity to actually come up with more creative uh, solutions. And that's where a study of the humanities really is a very, very practical uh, importance. Just one small vignette. Uh, in history, of course, we developed the engine and powered by steam and coal, and wood and coal, and then uh, we got the gasoline engine and oil became very important and England's running around trying to figure out how to catch up with the United States. And, and there was a classics professor at Oxford who was reading the old texts, and the Greeks were talking about fiery rocks over in Persia somewhere. And uh, some people went out from the British military, and sure enough, there was a lot of oil over in the Persian Gulf. Uh, so this is not a complete waste of time uh, looking at, uh, in terms of even practical day-to-day uh, -day, uh, business. Uh, there are a lot of uh, other ideas that, that uh, I could mention. One thing that's worth mentioning in that context, uh, uh, and I think it's a miracle, uh, uh, Lamar and others mentioned the founding fathers and the studies that they did, and we talk about uh, George Washington as the American Cincinnatus, who is, of course, a Roman uh, general who put uh, a service above self and returned to his plow as a, as a farmer, as Washington did to... To, to Mount Vernon. But another story is this poor little immigrant, uh, illegitimate child, Alexander Hamilton, uh, going to King's College and then going off to war and looking around at a 19 or 20 year old young man for the best books in the world on, on uh, economics and spending his spare time while we were fighting for independence ed educating himself about modern uh, economics. Uh, this is the kind of thing that we need to be promoting uh, in our own culture so that we generate uh, within ourselves the resources to understand uh, the context that we're dealing with and come up with creative solutions. And we can't do it uh, in a vacuum. We can do it uh, with a rigorous uh, a review of the historic record and the thoughts that those who came before us uh, ahead on, on analogous subjects. So I commend the Commission and this report. I think it will be of great use. I would also ex ec echo the words of Lamar Alexander that all uh, resources and uh, creativity and movement forward don't stem from Washington. They stem from the American people and I would caution against just relying on us and our funding. Uh, if we can engender interest in and support from uh, the uh, uh, people of our country uh, will be just fine in developing the humanities. Thank you. Very much.
And uh, I, might, I might as well introduce uh, uh, the uh, uh, chairman, Richard Broadhead.